Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about getting a really nice even acid etch and stone wash finish on magna cut or other comparable stainless steels. Now the knife that I'm going to be doing it on today is one of my little Puko models and this one is in magna cut. Um, a bunch of people have asked about this. It's really simple so stick around and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, so the first step of this process is getting your blade finish to the point where it'll take a good acid etch. And when you go to tumble it, uh, you're not gonna get some really aggressive grind lines. Some people like that, and I've done that in the past where it looks kind of cool, but for this video, we're gonna try to make it really clean and really even. So for this knife, um, this is actually getting a two-tone finish, but I thought it would work out good for this. Um, I, I have it at a 220 grit belt finish right now. So if you want to grind your bevels first because you're doing a full stone wash, I like to take them to 220 um, or even if you take them to 120 on the grinder, try to hand sand that up to 220 to get rid of those grind lines. Um, if you only take it to 120, a lot of times after you etch it and tumble it, you're still gonna see uh, those grind lines, which again, it's not you know a horrible thing, but for today, we're gonna try to get it really even. So first step is we got this knife right off the surface grinder at 220. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what chemical I'm gonna use to clean and to uh, get this etch started. So I made up a bunch of these little tubes, these little PVC tubes with a cap um to keep my different chemicals that i use for etching now this one is this stuff right here which is ferric chloride i'll put a link below to this you can get it on amazon and this is mixed 50 50 with apple cider vinegar that seems to be the best combination that i found to get a really good consistent etch so mix them up make sure your container is big enough to put your knife in and then let's get the knife prepped to get in the soak. So after you get your knife ground, it's you really, really have to clean it good to make sure you get all of the little oils and junk off that blade or else when you go to etch it, you'll pull it out and you will see streaks and problems and you don't want that. So what I do is I take a rag you can see all the, just all the gunk that came off that blade. Um, I take just a little paper towel or whatever with uh, lacquer thinner. You can use a lot of stuff for the cleaning process, but that's what I use. It seems to work pretty good. Now these rags leave a little bit of lint and dust and stuff sometimes. So I always clean it a couple times, like you see. And then I will Take a clean rag, a t-shirt material, or anything that's going to get those little streaks or little dust spots off. Just to make sure that thing is right on the money when you go to put it in the etch. Now, this should turn out good. Again, I'm going to do a two-tone finish on this as far as I'm stone washing it without grinding the bevels. And then I'm gonna grind the bevels afterwards to get a really cool kind of satin finish on the bevels and then a stone wash finish on the flats of this knife. So that's why there's no bevels ground in this one. But I thought this would be good to show you guys kind of the evenness of how this all turns out. So that's about all I do right there. You kind of just make sure it's really, really, really clean. Again, you can do that a couple times, and once you do this, you'll see how you'll miss stuff. And then I just take a little wire. I'm sure you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. And let me move the camera a little bit. Now this is going to go in here. Depending on how strong your mix is and how old the solution is, 
I normally leave it in for about an hour. Um, after you use this stuff for a while, it does kind of wear out. Um, and then maybe you got to go a little longer, hour and a half or something. So I'll check back in in an hour. And I've got a bunch of other bevels to start grinding. And I thought I'd kind of show this process throughout my day today. So I'll check back in a little bit. All right, checking back in. It's been exactly one hour. Sorry for the clicking. The even heat is, uh, I'm actually stabilizing some wood and that oven's kicking on and off. So let's pull this out and see if I can show you what it looks like right now. Looks really good. Again, it's uh, the stainless takes a lot longer to etch, but you can see how good and dark that looks. And yeah, it came out really good. Okay, I'm gonna take you over to the tumbler and show you my process for that. And um, pretty much what I do now from this step is there's, I guess there's a couple different ways to do it, but a lot of times I will go right out of the acid. I will neutralize it with just Windex. A lot of people use uh, baking soda, water. Um, I just spray it down with Windex really good. I keep it wet and then I go right over to the tumbler. So let me bring you over there and show you this step. Okay, so here's my tumbler. It's just one of those vibratory ones. And then you can see I have these big triangles the little triangles, and then I have just some random stones. I'm not sure how important that is, but the key to this is if you just have big stones, um, you can't, they don't get in the crevices, like where your bevel is at, and like where your plunge line's at, I guess would be a better way to put it. So you use the little ones to kind of get in there. And I went ahead and bought this little tub, just because I'm trying to keep this shop nice, and this makes it to where when I put water in this, and I'll show you that process, it doesn't splash all over the shop. It kind of stays in this tub. So, all right, I'm gonna pull this back out of the acid and I will show you uh, what kind of what it looks like going into the tumbler. Okay, so this step's gonna be loud, so I'm gonna explain it to you uh, before turning this on. I kick this on and I add quite a bit of water to it. Um, I'll show you. Uh, that way it seems to kind of just give it a lot more even and consistent finish than doing them uh, without adding any sort of liquid. So I add my water, I put my knife in, and normally this takes about five to seven minutes to get the finish I want. So I'll leave the camera going, I'll get this going, and uh, you can kind of see my process. All right, it's been seven minutes in the tumbler. And let's kind of see if everything went good. So looking at it, it's pretty good and even. Gives a really cool finish. You can see I've got right on the edge there, I've got a little darker spot. Luckily I'm grinding the bevels in it, so that's not gonna matter, but that turned out pretty nice. All right, so there it is. I just dried it off quickly with the air gun. And then what I do is I take some of this Pelican paste wax. This stuff's really, uh, really hard wax and it just prevents everything from rusting or just getting any little spots on it. So I take that and kind of rub it in lightly and it gives you, uh, man, just a really good finish. So hopefully I didn't skip any steps there and that you guys learned how to properly stone wash stainless steel. So there it is. Real, well, now it's all waxy, but you get the idea. Turned out good. I'm going to grind the bevels on this and hope I don't mess it up. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys like this video. Um, Make sure you comment below if there's any questions you have or anything you'd like to see in the future. Also, I've got a Patreon account if you guys want to help support the channel a little bit. I'll be putting out a ton of content to this winter. 
and any little help is appreciated. So everything I've used in the video as well is going to be down in the link below as far as the acid and I'm trying to find that tumbler and put a link for that as well. So like always guys, thank you for watching and have a good one.